Uh, leaders in Europe are concerned tonight as the Omicron variant continues to spread. Right now it's been detected in 54 countries. Local transmission continues to grow in places like Germany, France, Spain and Britain. Here in the U.S., 18 states are now reporting cases. Mississippi is the latest to find the variant. A person there recently traveled to New York. Scientists are racing to learn more about this new strain of the virus. Kate Raddatz shares what the early data may indicate about the severity of Omicron. Dr. Anthony Fauci says he's encouraged by early information coming out on the Omicron strain. Thus far, it does not look like there's a great degree of severity to it, but we really got to be careful before we make any determinations that it is less severe. Minnesota Department of Health infectious disease expert Chris Ayersman says symptoms reported with early Omicron infections included fatigue, headaches, and body aches with less respiratory illness, but epidemiologists are being cautious. The initial folks who have become ill have not necessarily been representative of the whole population. In South Africa, it was university students who tend to be you know, healthier um, than the general population. There are early indications that Omicron may be more contagious than Delta. So if COVID mutates, you know, continues with these variants, but if it mutates in a point where it may be more contagious but less severe, then it becomes common cold. Uh, and that's what I think we'd, we'd like to see and what we hope for. However, right now, we don't know enough. One of the big questions is how will the current vaccines hold up against the new variant? State health officials said Minnesota's first confirmed case of Omicron may have had mild symptoms because he was vaccinated and boosted. But more research is needed. We can't only depend on vaccines. We have to think about masking. We have to think about our behaviors. We have to think about social distancing and travel. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. Experts say the Delta variant is still the dominant strain in Minnesota and across the country. Every county in Minnesota is currently seeing high infection numbers.